Friends, we have seen a phenomenal rise in the use of parodial songs autographed. Here we will demonstrate the extraction of partial thickness peroneus longus graft. Once you deliver the peroneus longus outside the wound, make a small nick dividing the tendon into upper one third and lower two third by a sharp number 10 knife. Extend that nick proximally and distally. Enlarge that with the help of a mixed forcep. Loop it separately, separating the one third and two third part of the peroneus longus. Now enlarge that nick under tension for about half a centimeter on either side proximally and distally. This will separate the upper one third of the tendon from the lower two third of the tendon and make it two out of one tendon. Now evert the foot, deliver the maximum mass of the tendon outside the wound, cut with a sharp knife through the furrow in the forceps, the lower two-third part of the tendon. Grasp the lower two-third part of the tendon with the help of something like Alice forceps and now use four to five whip stitches in order to secure the tendon. Pass a 6 mm close tendon stripper to harvest the tendon. Be careful into the proximal part where the junction of one third and two third is there. Once the tendon negotiates that plane it will divide the whole tendon into one third and two third. Direct your tendon strippers towards the fibular head and gently nudge it out as you do in a complete PL tendon autograft harvest. Be very careful of your direction in the final proximal one third of the tendon length so that you should not amputate prematurely the tendon part. Here you see the two-third part of tendon has got an adequate thickness which will suffice for your ACL or PCL reconstruction. You see here the one-third part of the tendon is still intact and is functioning well, exerting eversion power over a artery forceps. So, 
it's a good technique of preserving the one third of the tendon and the functions of the peroneus longus is well preserved thank you